Hello and welcome to another Ad Puzzle video tutorial. Last time we've looked at student project. Today we're looking at how to fully integrate Ad Puzzle with our Google Classroom. There are three ways how you can integrate Ad Puzzle with Google Classroom. First, you can import your existing Google Classroom classes onto the Ad Puzzle. Second, you can create Google Classroom assignments through Ad Puzzle. And finally, you can export grades from the Ad Puzzle onto the Google Classroom. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at all of these methods one at a time. First thing we need to do is to import our existing Google Classrooms and students onto the Ad Puzzle. And this is how it's done. From your home screen, go to My Classes to click on Add New Class and click on Google Classroom. Ad Puzzle will then ask you which Google Classrooms you would like to integrate with Ad Puzzle. In my case, I just want to integrate one Google Classroom, and that is Google Classroom Ad Puzzle right here, this Google Classroom. Once I've selected this Google Classroom, I'm going to click Import Classes. Now my Google Classroom has been integrated into the Ad Puzzle, and I also have my two students who I have in my Google Classroom imported into the Ad Puzzle. And if you have some students who joined later on and for some reason they haven't been imported onto your Ad Puzzle, click on Import Students. This will take all the students who haven't been added. Now you can see that I have a new student who joined a little bit later. By clicking Import Students, your student roster will be updated. Now, the second way you can integrate Ad Puzzle in Google Classroom is to post your Ad Puzzle assignments on the Google Classroom. And this is how it's done. For my content, let's assume that I would like to assign Water Cycle Song to my class. I'm going to click Assign and select my Google Classroom Ad Puzzle. Now, once you've selected your Google Classroom, you will see an option here post on Google Classroom. Turn it on and click Assign. Now, once you've done that, Adpuzzle will post this assignment on students' Google Classroom. Let's now switch to students' view to see what it looks like from their end. Now, from the students' view, I can see that there's a new assignment posted by my teacher. I'm going to click on this link right here. I'm going to choose Chrome to open this assignment. Once I've logged into the Adpuzzle with the same Google account that I used for Google Classroom, Adpuzzle will take me directly to the water cycle song. As a student, I'm going to click play and go through the Ad Puzzle lesson. Final way to integrate Google Classroom with Ad Puzzle is by taking students' score from the Ad Puzzle and posting them on the Google Classroom. In this example, this student has just finished Ad Puzzle lesson. His grade is 67 out of 100. This score has been automatically posted on the Google Classroom for both a student and a teacher. This is what it looks like from the students and I have my water cycle song assignment and my score is 66 out of 100. From the teacher's view, if I go to my classwork and click on the water cycle song and then click on view assignment, I have one student who has been graded. This is MS 15 and his grade has automatically been updated as well without me doing anything. All the work has been done through the Ad Puzzle and grade is automatically updated. Today, we've learned how to integrate Ad Puzzle with Google Classroom. First, we've looked at how you can import existing Google Classrooms onto the Ad Puzzle. Then, we looked how you can post Ad Puzzle assignments on Google Classrooms. Finally, we saw how grades on Ad Puzzle are automatically posted on Google Classroom. If you are struggling to integrate your Google Classroom with Ad Puzzle, feel free to leave your questions in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Next time, we're going to have a look at how to integrate YouTube and Ad Puzzle. Thank you for taking your time to check out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time. 